Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and this is our ninth video tutorial on Laravel e-commerce project. So in this video, we will learn that how we can create a product detail page. These are the points, but before that, let's understand what is the product detail page basically. So whenever we are just seeing the listing here for every product, but there is no actual detail of the product, right? We just have the names or we have some description and all, right? But uh, when we just want to buy a product, we want to check everything like uh, price, detail, category and much more things. For that, we need a product detail page and on that product detail page, we have a product price, description, everything in a detail and we have some buttons for buy this project like add to cart button or buy now button, right? So we will just create that page only in this video. So what we need for this page, first of all, we need a controller function, then uh, we need a view for detail page and then we will get the data from database with the help of id then uh, we will show the data on the detail page and at the last we will add two we will add two buttons one for add to cart another one for buy now right and these uh, buttons are actually not uh, functional in this video but in the upcoming video we will make them functional also right so uh, first of all what we need we we need at actually a route uh, so that we can jump on a detail page so let's uh, just go inside the routes web.php and create a one more route so let's say uh, my route name is detail and my function name whatever we will call it on this route is also detail inside detail inside product controller so now let's open a product product controller and uh, create this uh, function right so just write here detail and how we will get the detail of every product with the behalf of id so let's pass a id from here like uh, id we don't don't need first slash and let's get this id as in parameter and now we can for a moment so that we can just check that what we are actually getting from the dd db you can just write here return product and this is basically a product controller which we just already made in previous video find and let's pass the id and now it will just get the data on the behalf of this id from the database right so now let's see what we are getting actually here but uh, for that what we need one more thing that we need uh, which is uh, we need to just make a link on this all products in the trending products as well as on this uh, you can say that the sliders right so let's create this link also and now jump on our resources views then uh, product.blade.php right and uh, let's uh, just get this data for a moment and just add here a link right like this and here i we can just simply pass here detail slash and uh, product id so just write here dollar item you can add here id like this and similar thing we can uh, do in the trending products also so just simply add here a link and uh, let's close this link also like this so now let's check so we got the link here and now you can see that we are able to get the detail like LG mobile when we click on LG, LG mobile. So I, when I just click on a Sony TV, then I get, a, get detail related to the Sony TV. So now let's see how we can just uh, show it on a detail page. And for that we need a um, detail view also. So let's create a detail view. Details, detail dot, uh, sorry plate.php right and to reduce our work we can just copy all the data from here to here and let's close this uh, extra files right and uh, we can just remove this old stuff we don't need it we just uh, need this uh, extended and section content and let's create here a container right that's all and uh, now what do we need we need uh, two, two more div one for row 
because this is a bootstrap structure and again then we need a class call sm6 right and we need one more section for us uh, with the similar ratio so now we have a two block with the sm6 and sm6 here we will put here the image and in the second block we will put the other details right so now let's uh, take this all data inside a variable and uh, okay let me put here assignment operator just return here uh, view pass here uh, detail view and in a second parameter let's take array and let's say my key name is product and value is dollar data right awesome now let's go to our product detail page and let's take img tag and simply write here uh, dollar products product basically what we take here product right so we need a product here so product and then use here gallery so let's see what we actually got here so now we got a uh, yes we got our image here so let's go back for a moment and let's try with another one let's say i just want to check the oppo mobile then we got a detail about the oppo mobile but uh, this is really a large image so we have to reduce the size for this image so let's take a class on it class let's say detail img or something and let's open uh, master dot plate.php and uh, simply add this class and height can be like uh, 200 pixel is fair enough i think right now let's check now we have a perfect size let's check some other products also panasonic tv is perfect lg mobile perfect right so now in this section on the right hand side we can take the product details right so let's uh, first of all we need a uh, anchor tag so that we can just go back here and just right here go back and we can go back from this link right on our home page so uh, now let's uh, put here a product name so we can just simply use here dollar product name and what are we actually getting here sony tv right so now let's uh, let's just take some more uh, tags here and add some more details like uh, for h3 we can add here price just write here price and now let's take h4 tag and just simply add here details or you can add the description if you want and just put here description and uh, with a similarly we can also add the category here and now let's see what we actually got here so okay we got some error here because we just put lots of brackets here my bad now i think these are perfect all right so now uh, the drill page is here but uh, i just want to add some more buttons like uh, buy now and something so that i i'm just going to put here br tag even i know br tag is not a good way to uh, take the space because we need to use a style but uh, actually we are not focusing on the style we are actually focusing on the uh, logic so for time saving sometime i just use a br tag so please uh, pardon me right so just right here um, add to cart right and uh, let me just add a class with the name of btn and btn primary right add one more button add some br tags to the below to this uh, 
but I also in this now use here uh, by now right and uh, here we can just uh, you know add here the another class bootstrap class like success this is looking much better right so let's try to just watch some other products like uh, uh, Panasonic working good and TV with Sony TV this is working again good and refrigerator is also working fine right so this is basically our uh, detail page yes might be you are just, just thinking that uh, there is a very few detail only right so yes we can add here more detail also like uh, rating and uh, uh, freeze capacity and discount and or much more options but we will do it later because first of all let's just make a basic uh, e-commerce website if we are just going to take the every detail then uh, it will just take uh, around uh, uh, one year to me because every e-commerce website have a complete team to develop it right but now I am alone to just making the tutorial so um, sometimes some functionality will be missing from this uh, product so please again pardon me for that and please subscribe my channel and like this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box bye bye take care